Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. What are you doing? Know, like, more people. More people. Let's do it again, ready? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Cast of Merlin. I mean, seriously. I want to dial it up a notch. So we've got Colin and Kate. E. Kate I know, e. but we just had this discussion about, you know, lengthening out the name. I just want more time on me, and, you know, Katie's longer than Kate. So you just want another syllable? Yeah. Only there was a way to add more to that name. <laughs> Katharini. All right, thank you guys very much for joining us. Congratulations on Merlin, as always. Season 5, we must ask, fans though we are, what can we expect from the next season? Uh, this is, I think each year it's got a lot darker anyway, but this, this seems to be moving into, uh, I think, adult territory, but still keeping that, that, that charm that the show's always had. Mm -hmm. but, but as the main characters are becoming adults, it is becoming a lot more, a lot more serious in, 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 in its theme. Things do tend to get darker and more serious as you grow, so that kind of fits. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know? And that was my next question. Damn it, way to jump in there, Colin. <laughs> Zoinks. Um, let's do something fun. Who do you like most to work with on the show? Uh, <laughs> she might be sitting next to you, he might be sitting next to you. Richard Wilson. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, definitely. He's, all right. he's really cool. Why? Um, because he's an absolute legend. He's 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 you know he's seventy five now, and he's he's one of the most energetic people on set. Probably you know he's just no, never stops. Uh, would you agree or someone else? My favorite would probably be Tony Head. Ah. Just because he's a genius, and working with Tony is like working with no one else. He really buys into the show and the character and the fun of it all and, and he makes every day that you're working with him sort of sort of lighter and you, you realize how lucky you are to do the job. That is kind of cool. Do you ever have those moments where you're like, look what we're doing? Yeah, all the time. There's, yeah. there's some moments where, where uh, you know, with the clapper board from Merlin just before they're about to go for a take and, and you catch yourself going, I did Merlin. It's like, it's, so it's, yeah, it's, it's good fun. How's Merlin going to change in this next season? Um, as a character, he's he's um, he's grown up. I mean, the big big thing in in uh, in season five to come is that there's a three year gap between between the last one and on, on this one. So um, they're they're Just oh to swap up. over. There you go. Thank you, oh, sir. Thank you. Nice you guys. Nice you. So you literally pulled that from the stone of Mike's back there. <laughs> <laughs> well done. As heaven ordained, that <laughs> microphone. There's an on button on the bottom. Do we have that? We're not hit that. <laughs> it's live stream. This is all on the yeah. interwebs. This is connecting. This, this is going back. This is global, actually. And this is not, as they say, geo blocked. So people can watch this right now in, in your home country of uh -oh. origin, whatever it is. You like that crap? Geo block. I learned that yesterday. I'm sorry, Jesse. <laughs> how dare you make him sound good? Um, <laughs> oh, let's dive into this. So, uh, is Arthur now? Does Arthur need Merlin more now that he's king? Um, I think I think he does. Not that maybe he realizes it, but there is moments where he where he does. I think see Merlin in, in a in a different way in, in terms of 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 what, of what Merlin says because Merlin's words are now having have more of an effect um, as as he, he he settles into that role of the wise advisor that we know from legend. So uh, I th I think Arthur is dependent on him more in a more obvious way. Right on. What can we expect from Morgana next season? Hmm? Hmm? I can actually think I'd give you a spoiler about what has happened to Morgana in the, in the time off. Oh, look at this! I know, I've been told I'm allowed to tell you. Oh, that's not a spoiler, that's oh, just no, permission. Oh, no, it is! It's permission, but you're the only ones who know it so far, so that makes it a spoiler. Okay, shut down the cameras. Okay. <laughs> um, well, you know, three years have gone by, mm -hmm. and obviously when you left Morgana, you don't imagine that she just lived in a forest for three years. Mm -hmm. What you discover about her is that she has been held captive for two of those years by a character that you will get to know later on in the season. Mm -hmm. And during those two years, her need for revenge has moved not on not just against Arthur, but against everyone. So she's become, I don't want to say crazed, but slightly more determined in her, in her aims. Mm. So she, for her, as a character, has gotten a lot older. Her, it's like what Colin says, everybody's grown up on it, right? you know, and, and I think there's such a success of these types of shows at the minute, you know, you've got Game of Thrones, you've got all the fairy tale, Once Upon a Time and Grimm, and, and I like to think that sort of Merlin was the start of that, and, and now that we're kind of along on the same level as that. Mm. 
right on. Will Morgana get some romance now? I don't think she needs it. Mm, no? No. Independent? She's an independent woman. Right on. How about that dragon? <laughs> Which one? Oh, crap. <laughs> I put you on the spot now. It doesn't say that in your card. No, does it? it doesn't. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to help you here. I'm just going to let you... Yeah, I, I don't think there's anything It's actually that. true. This is actually the card for Stan Lee. <laughs> I've been doing this whole thing, just making it up completely. Um, I believe uh, it's the dragon from uh, Aragon. That's the one we're talking about? Yeah, um, you know, it's amazing cross. Smaug, does that work? Smaug. Is that okay? Is my nerd cred coming back? No. Really? Oh, you're failing. Crush mm. Mm. Um, the green one? No. Tiamat. <laughs> you're talking about my dragon. Yeah. There we go, Athusa. Oh, that's the one I meant. Yeah, yeah, who you see as a baby dragon in the last episode <laughs> yeah. of season four, which obviously you've seen. Yeah, and, you know, have several recorded. episodes. It's amazing. <laughs> yes, Athusa does make an appearance because you can't tell the story without her. Right on. Mm -hmm. Seriously, I've watched dozens of downloads. Legally downloaded, right? Yeah, dude. Yeah. What are you talking about? Isn't trying. that fascinating? Here, we've had a number of comic book creators in there, and now people talk about downloading comics. Really? Yeah, because, and there are torrents of comics, which means someone has bought a comic, scanned it, and put it on the internet, so it's a whole brand new, well, it's been going on for a few years now, but it's not brand new, but it's more in uh, the public's eye about licensing for your art. It's really, what's happening in the music industry has now been happening a lot with comic books and books and things, all that. It's a bummer. So yeah. It's really difficult for the artists. Yeah. It's very, speaking of artists, we have an artist right here. I know. Yeah. Yes. And all of our art goes to an auction for the Comic Book Legal Defense Fund. Mm -hmm. You aware of this charity? What's she been? Yeah, no, I was just told about it before I came in. It sounds amazing. It's really cool. It's a First Amendment's right charity. Helps out a lot of artists for having a really fun. Go check it out. Carl Collins just left me now. Walk all over. Does that all the time. Oh, wow. Really? I know. Jerk. I know. Very pretty, right? And she said this is the... I'm sorry, what was your name again? My name's Raina. Raina, I'm sorry, Raina. I didn't ask earlier. That's okay. Doofus. My backstory work is failing me miserably right now. It's okay. Your name wasn't on the card. He was never going to know it. You know, years ago I did a red carpet. <laughs> I did a red carpet and this woman came up and I, had, and I had the card. And I said, so you've done such and such and such and such. And she went, wow, you know a lot. I went, actually, no, they just handed me the card before you walked up. And, it and the producer just sat back. <laughs> I said, well, you've got to be at least honest and sincere about it. You can't watch everything, can you? Yeah. You have to be aware about it, right? That's true. See what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I'm, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, fans come out. Now talk about fan interaction here at Comic-Con for you guys. Uh, well, we just had our first first experience over there. Um, we went to the BBC America uh, stand to, uh, to do a bit of a signing, and there was loads of people there. Uh, we yeah. saw two uh, girls dressed as Merlin. What? Which we insisted on getting Merlin in the middle of them, which I think actually the real Merlin in between kind of made their day. Yeah. Did it make your day, sandwich. <laughs> It was a Merlin sandwich. <laughs> it was a... <laughs> 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 wow. Hey, man. It's always weird because, you know, you do the show in England and, you know, you assume that possibly people will recognize you and be familiar mm. with it in England because it's on BBC. And you, I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm always slightly worried when I come to Comic-Con and I think nobody's going to know who we are and it's going to be a little bit embarrassing. But there were cues mm. and, and so many people who loved mm. and supported and, and knew everything. Mm. And, and it just, you know, you feel very special. People find people yeah, find their thinking. show, man. I mean, you see me yesterday when Firefly was <laughs> here, and I was just freaking out. Yeah. Oh, are we cool now, Kate? Yeah, Pete? So cool. We back? Yeah, we're back. Yeah. Oh, dude, it was rad. I'm sitting there staring at Adam Baldwin, going, "You are my bodyguard, right, Gary? You with me? Yeah. Only person I've made that reference to who gets it. Him and Matt Dillon. Seriously, freak. And I can't even talk about that. That guy's done his such a career, and he's Jane and whatever. Um, they call him Jane. They do. Oh, the man called Jane. <laughs> Coming up, MTV Comics. We have our own comic book line. It's pretty badass. And Starship Troopers, right on. I hope, man, I hope Neil Patrick Harris does a cameo in that movie. Remember? He talked to the thing's brain. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, Kate and Con, for being here. All the best, Thanks. Merlin. Thank Rad. you. Nice. <laughs> Good for you. Call them out when they don't know.